I've got two of the most forgiving drivers of 2022 for the masses of amateur golfers that will be watching this video. But which one's better? Let's find out now. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Golf Magic channel. I'm Alex here at Manning's Heath Golf and Wine Estate. And yes, we're putting the fabled Cobra LTDX driver against the Callaway Rogue ST Max. Both the flagship models for 2022 for the respected brands, but which one's better? That term is a little bit, I'm not sure. I don't think there's gonna be a better driver, but I will report my findings and recommend which one could be right for you dependent on your golf game. We're gonna hit some drives in a second, but before that, let's just lay down the nuts and bolts of both these drivers here, talk about the tech and the looks behind them, see which one you might prefer before we talk about the performance. The Callaway Rogue ST range has been really successful this year, despite them not really shouting about it, like let's say TaylorMade with their marketing, they've said that the incremental differences compared to last year's range will make you a better golfer. The tungsten weighting, the ball speed consistency means that across the face, you'll still get some really nice results. The Rogue ST Max has an elongated face when you look down at a dress. It's also got a really nice improved color scheme to last year with a nice gold and matte black finish. They're all matte black, all the ranges, but I'm a really big fan of how the Rogue ST Max looks because forgiveness, it looks extremely forgiving. When you compare that to Cobra LTDX, their flagship model, there are some differences. I will say that the Cobra LTDX does look a little bit smaller smaller down at address and also the, the finish is a little bit more glossy. They both are actually quite similar to each other in colour scheme with kind of a little goldy yellow and black finish but I would say down at address when you're looking at it the Callaway Rogue ST Max does look a little bit more forgiving. That is a trend that I think will follow suit throughout this video. The main difference though when you're looking at these two heads is the LTDX does have some removable weighting whereas Callaway does not at all. If they're both going for ball speed consistency, forgiveness, with also massive speeds, is there going to be much difference? Let's head over to a tee now, talk about the data that I've got between these two as it's really interesting, and see if I can drive the green that's 350 yards away. Let's do it. So what I found with testing these out, there are, there are actually some differences between these two. I'm using the exact same shaft, and if you have seen my other comparisons, usually there's not actually too much difference. Between the Max and the LTD, there are some little differences. First of all, the Max is a draw bias club. It is always going to be slightly closed, meaning that the dispersion, more the left side of the fairway, dependent on your swing path, as mine's quite neutral, I'm actually seeing a little bit more of a draw. The LTDX is an extremely neutral club for me. Can't really say there's any sort of bias towards fade or draw. This is obviously dependent on the person and their swing path, but for me, it was like straight for the Cobra, slightly left for the Callaway. Now, the data that I got when I went to the full swing simulator at Silverman Golf Club was actually a bit different to what I expected because Callaway had more spin, slightly higher launching, whereas the Cobra was slightly lower launching with a little bit more ball speed and lower spin. So I'll put the data for the Callaway on the screen for you now. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I'm not telling any porkies. This is what it is. But you can see there with this shaft, it's still climbing up to the mid 2000, 2006, 2700 spin. Whereas the Cobra, if I put the data on the screen for you now, you can see that the ball speed is about half a mile faster spin slightly lower and it launches slightly lower as well. This leads me to believe that perhaps the Cobra is slightly towards the, I wouldn't say better players, but perhaps it's for people who don't need as much help getting it off the ground. Does that mean though that Cobra is less forgiving? Not at all. Let's hit some shots now and then we'll talk about the actual sound and feel of these clubs and which one I think is right for your game. Right, so apologies if any of you were expecting any drone footage. I wanted to have it, but uh, I crashed it into a tree last week. So it's in the shop. So I'll put some traces up. We're gonna go straight down the middle but I'm really intrigued to see what the ball fight is going to be like here because the Rogue ST Max has a little bit of a draw bias. So I've absolutely smashed that, but... Oh, no! <laughs> so if you didn't hear that, that smashed against a tree. Lovely flight. I know you see the shot tracer there. Lovely, lovely flight. Because I've got a low launching shaft, I'm not getting into anything that's that crazy. That's hammered. Wind's got it a little bit, but that's going probably right side of the green, maybe. Yeah, one thing this club is, it's consistent. I'm feeling like across the face, it's got such a good feel. And even if you're getting out of the toe and out of the heel, it's still got a really positive bit of feedback to it. I mean, that's the one there, finally. Bounds on a laugh. That was a really good shot there and a good one to finish on this Callaway. 
I'm gonna instantly change over to the Cobra now and just see how different it is and what results I get as well. All right, straight over to the Cobra now. Literally has been two minutes just changing over the head. Same shaft and everything as always. No bias here, because I really do love both clubs, but I'm expecting this to maybe have a little bit tighter dispersion from that one, perhaps go a little bit further, but this is just me completely guessing. It's the same shaft, so realistically, it should be quite similar to each other. Ah, just a little bit right there and it's drifting, but that's okay. That one there was a little bit more fady, which is my ball flight. So I'm not too surprised, but I don't think we're gonna see any draws with this one. Ah, it's a good shot, but it's just drifting again, slightly out of the heel, but we're not really, we're not displeased by that one. That's the one, it's just slightly right again. That's the best one of the lot for the Cobra, but it's just on the right side of the green, I think. Looks like, dispersion-wise, the Cobra's a little bit more accurate for me, but which one do I actually prefer from the feel that I'm getting when I'm hitting it at the club face? Let's chat about that now. One thing that is extremely important with every type of club you buy is feel. And there is a bit of a difference in feel between these two. Everyone has said the Callaway Rogue ST Max and the Rogue ST Metal Woods range is a little bit more muted than previous iterations, previous versions of Callaway drivers. And that is definitely the case. It's not a loud driver. It's not one that grabs attention for a driving range. The Cobra, actually somewhat similar, but I would say the feel, for me personally, here at Golf Magic, I think the Callaway does feel a little bit nicer, but that's more for around the entire club face. To be honest, out the middle, <laughs> the Cobra and the Callaway, they feel very similar. But when you're hitting it out of the toe and out of the heel, I do feel that the Callaway does feel a little bit more pleasing. One big thing we haven't talked about though, perhaps the biggest of all, price. And that's where one brand will always come out tops. I think you can see by the testing that we've done here, both are winners in their own different ways. The Callaway, although in these few balls that I hit here, the Cobra was actually more forgiving with the dispersion. They were all very close to each other. I do find the Callaway to be more forgiving on off center strikes. That's from a feel point of view. So when you're hitting it out of the toe and out of the heel, it's a little bit more pleasing than the Cobra. And I do feel like it gives you a little bit more help. The Cobra on the other hand, does have slightly faster ball speed. Although I don't think it feels as forgiving, it definitely is as forgiving as I've seen on the launch monitor and also here today. And then price. Cobra is always a good chunk cheaper than Callaway and TaylorMade year round. With the models that they release with their metal woods, they're usually about 50 or 60 quid cheaper. I'll put the RRPs, the Cobra and the Callaway just here for you so you can see it's a bit cheaper. With that significant price difference, what are you losing with the Cobra? I don't think you're losing anything at all. So if we're going from a really broad statement here from the Cobra against the Callaway, although I do really like the Callaway and if price wasn't an object, it would be an unbelievably difficult decision. I don't know what I'd put. Because the price of the Cobra is cheaper, I do think it's a better value for money driver and therefore I probably recommend it over other drivers. Product to product, if we're taking price out of it, I would say that go for the Callaway if you want something that feels a little bit nicer, but go for the Cobra if you perhaps want a little bit more explosive ball speed. Guys, as you can see with this test, this is an extremely, extremely difficult decision. I cannot explain enough. They are so similar to each other in different ways, but they're such positive drivers that it's very difficult to pick a winner. So I think they are both winners here. They are both really positive drivers. And if you are an amateur golfer looking to get something that provides forgiveness, good looks, good feel, try both of these out. I guarantee you'll find one that's right for your game. Which driver do you think I've got in my bag right now? I'm not sure if any of you guys will know. Leave a comment down below and I'll say if you've got the right answer. Until the next video, guys, I'll see you later.